folks, it's Rich here from Crafty Gamer Clan, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running Halls of Lightning. We're going to try to go literally as quickly as we can. We're going to go on normal mode, and we're going to try and speed farm some crystallized, I think, earth and fire, possibly. You get two types from here, or it might actually be fire and water. We'll soon find out. So it's going to run straight into this. I haven't got any like, um, I haven't got a speed set or even speed enchants or anything like that. I'm just going to be kind of whizzing across here, literally as quickly as possible, avoiding all of these guys in the entrance. This is in Storm Peaks. I'll quickly throw the map up once we get out of here. Could have done with starting with that, I guess. Uh, throw the loot appraiser on just because. Be avoiding the buses. We're going to be looking for these guys specifically. Unbound firestorms. And then there's a couple of other guys just at the stairs here. So we're going to want to grab all of this dude. Pull him around. Ignore these little molten core looking rock piles. Put up the stairs. I'll let you go upstairs. So the other ones are the blistering. Steam, steam rages. I'm gonna grab all of these from up here. Quickly as we can. Down to this corner, stairs. This as quickly as possible. These guys bunch up. Quickly. Airway them down. And we should have. Transmog there. But realistically, we are looking for. Here they are. Crystallized water, crystallized fire. So that's what this whole farm's about. Just get in as much of this as quickly as possible. Really good to do this on a character where you can quickly dash in and dash out of the instance in this sort of teleportation manner. So is it priests, monks and druids? That you possibly have this. Not sure if any of the others do. But it's literally teleport out back in. Reset the instance as we go, just to save time. And of course you'll be doing this on normal. Um as you can only do heroic once per hour. I'm going for that 10 instance lockout. This would be a good one to park a character here. It's going to go straight back in. So we're in the top section near in Aldwar in the Storm Peaks. Straight into cat form again. Dash across as quickly as we can. Avoid any battles that we don't need to get into. Completely avoiding that first boss. I should be wandering around just over there. Yep. Remembering to pull these two firestorms from the corners of the stairs before you head up them. All these little guys again as much as possible because they don't don't believe they actually drop anything of use. Don't believe they drop drop anything at all actually. We go left or right, whichever suits you. As long as you loop round, tag the four groups up here, the group in the middle of the stairs on each side, those two at the bottom. We get firestorms to drop those crystallized fires, and steam rage to drop those crystallized waters. NP. 
peel them off into this corner down here. Into my milking form and looted, drop straight onto the teleport. So you're in here for about 90 seconds inside the instance maybe. in back in while that's going on reset the instance balls of lightning picture of where we want to end the farm. Form and sprint. Anything that you could do to increase your movement speed here is obviously going to be a tremendous boon to you. Be a bit mindful of your talent setup if you're doing any farms where you're going to be in cat form for a decent chunk of time. I'm far too lazy to optimize. Basically, I'll start getting the booting chance and that sort of thing. I think for now, until I get an expansion past BFA. I'm not going to be locked into the what could be the fastest speeds anyhow, so I don't worry about it too much. So I'm going to go left to right. So left up the stairs here. Tag one of these guys. These four packs for free and then two, two wanderers around the middle. As long as you're getting all of those, should be fine. In. The sense as well to empty my bags before I came in for this video, so should be able to get a very accurate true reading of what one can expect to pick up. Teleport back. Or reset. Again, you're avoiding all of the bosses in here, you're just kind of going straight for those elementals. It's a good way to stack up on fire and water. So start building up a, a good stack of those eternals for any of your crafting needs or if you so choose to sell. And then any transmog will be like a happy accident or a byproduct of the farming that you're doing here. There's a couple of talents I could have on to make this a little bit quicker, but I'm still making pretty rapid time. Second there, I just thought he didn't want to. He didn't want me to blow him up. Go up the stairs. Let's do another left one. Just 
that court then. I know what it is this time, some of them not wanting to aggro. Down the stairs. Into this corner. As soon as we've gathered enough, gathered up all of them, or as many as possible, just quickly hammer them all down and get out of here. Yeah, that was possibly run number four. We were already looking pretty good. Matters too much if you take the left or the right path here, as long as you can try and avoid everyone. Of course, you want to pull a load of extra mob purely to AoE them down in the name of speed, skipping through. Opposite side of the stairs, up into this corner. Group them together. Be a good way to get the relic of old war as well. Fair. Have a quick look in a second. Those do seem to be stacking up quite nicely.
Mario just didn't want to follow them for some reason. Oh, we got a mole. Yep. Hassan's up the corner. To the uh, the reset lockout, the instance lockout pretty quickly, I imagine, on this. And full of runs. A quick form that works. Of these guys super fast and continue about our way. Some really awkward issues getting some attention here. to disenchant some bits to possibly list on the AH. And that's all extra to what we're doing. Want to follow me then either?
by this stage I've completely lost track of how many we've done so keep going until we can't go in anymore Realise that I said spreads earlier when it's actually dash. That's too much time on rogue. That's what that'll do to you. Getting half of the buttons that we're pressing here. Drops on that, on that one. I think this might be the last, if not last, spot one. some miracle you did manage to keep track of how many of these you'd done you could always if you're not planning on doing this frequently park some one round here that you're going to use for a lot of north end stuff do nine runs of these and then finish off with a heroic full clear to see if you can get anything um any gear of real interest
there you go. So there's our reset. So 26 minutes. Possibly a little bit less if you don't end up pulling some of the others on the way through. And then that'll end us up with we've got 12k looted item value on this run. But naturally, that'll just get vended or disenchanted. Okay, interesting. The random pieces in here worth throwing on the auction house, possibly. A quick tidy up. Okay, so we're gonna end up posting these off for disenchanting. These five on the auction house. Let's see what happens with them. And then as far as Eternals go. Easily far less than half an error. If ended up with 22 Eternals and change. So not bad. And we've also got these um, mix of all drawers as well as a nice little bonus. Which seem to sell, to be fair. Might keep hold of those for a bit of reputation myself. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything that we wanted to go through in this one. And again, that was Halls of Lightning, Pinaldoir, Top End of the Storm Peaks in Northrend. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you in the next video.